Hey everyone, Adam Shaw here from Bavaro Media Company. Today we've got another map for you guys. More specifically, I'm helping out Megan, who is a frequent uh, fan of our channel. Megan, we found a pictorial bird's eye map of Jackson, Tennessee, which is kind of close to the area you wanted to look to possibly do the uh, metal detector uh, within that general part of western Tennessee. So let's dive right in. We're going to kind of explore this map and hopefully we can find some spots, uh, Megan, that you can go through and kind of explore in, in downtown Jackson. Okay, so we can see that it's a moderately large size city and we can see the various street names throughout as well as uh, numerous residential areas. We've got re reference areas uh, between a courthouse, county jail, market house, uh, novelty works, foundry, machine shop. On the other side, we have churches labeled, college. Let's see generally what we can find. Okay. I'm guessing this, I don't know exactly north, south, east, and west layout, but by a railroad area that goes through Jackson by Hertz Street, we have H and C. Let's find out what H and C are. Hertz Street and Huntington Street in Jackson. Let's see. H is that was a stables, literally stables. So right by Hertz Street. Right across from it, I don't know what street this is. Is it labeled you Royal Street? It's on Royal Street. Yeah, Royal and Depot Street, right over here. That's a stable area, or was a stable area. Uh, C looks like a factory of some sort. That's a flour and feed mill, right next to, ironically, the stables. Um, guessing that that was a direct supply back and forth, feeding the horses and whatnot. Let's see what four is. That's a railroad depot for shipping. That's a railroad depot. And it looks like there's a rail line. Yeah. So right right by the stable, right over here, this is a rail line where it splits right here, right by Madison Street. Let's see. We see a couple churches and whatnot. Let's see if we can find some more locations. Let's see what F is. F is on uh, Royal Street. F is... That's a wagon and carriage shop. It used to be a wagon and carriage. It's on... It's on F... It's on Royal Street. Marked F right here. Hunting, it's where Huntington Street meets Royal Street. That was a carriage shop right there. So, Megan, if you wanted to metal detect that area... I don't know what you might find. You might find uh, a couple different uh, artifacts there generally in that area. Here's another F, and I'm guessing that's an extension of that shop, the carriage shop, over on the other side of the railroad. I don't know if that railroad still exists uh, on Huntington Street. Uh, we've got a railroad depot right here by Jefferson Street and Short Street. Oh, boy. Let's see. 17. Let's find out what 17 is over on the other side of Jackson. Is this a... I'm guessing it's it's a house for African Americans? Uh, in... I'm guessing 17 because it says colors. I'm guessing a house for African Americans over on 17... Let's see what's over here. Uh, let's see what C is. C, I thought we saw what a marker of C. Uh, that's a flower and feed mill as well. Let's see, right over there. Let's 
16. Let's find out what 16 is. It's a Catholic church. You got into the churches in the late numbers. Yeah. There's another feed. Uh, that's a carriage shop as well. There are a lot of carriage shops in uh, Jacksonville from what I'm noticing. What's three? We got three labeled right there and it looks like a unique building. It's a market house. Okay, Megan. Right here at three. Market Street. Boom. And it's right by what was the Mississippi Central Railroad on Market Street at the far end. That was a marketplace right here across, uh, next to College Street. So that's a couple of the areas. What I'm going to do is in, at, at, in the description of this video, I'm going to put a link to this exact map. You can inspect it for yourself, Megan, if you want to inspect it, or anyone else. I'm going to put that clickable link in the description, and you can get this map digitally uh, on your computer. You can print it off, and you can use it for metal detecting or whatever you would like. So, also, we have this map available for purchase on a customizable poster print on our online store. Uh, you can customize the different dimensions. I think we have over 100 different options for this specific map for framing. So you can do that. You can check out this map on a poster print on our online store by going below this video down to the description and clicking that link that's labeled in our description. It'll bring you right to our online store. If you like videos like these where we kind of explore and examine old vintage maps, uh, definitely check out our YouTube channel. We upload new videos all the time, maps of Tennessee, of western Tennessee. We take requests. Megan is, is a faithful fan on our channel, and she makes requests all the time. And, you know, we definitely reward all the people that ask on our channel. So definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you guys soon. Okay, take care. All right, bye.